Eating nutritious food is important for good health. However, recently, food prices have risen to levels that really challenge our wallets and our food choices. But you can take back control by growing fresh produce in your own backyard. Okay, this idea sounds good so far, but for you, space might be an issue. The Barbados Ministry of Agriculture, Food and Fisheries understands and is responding with workshops and programs to show how anyone can have a tiny garden. As part of the multi-pronged solution to the rising cost of food, the Ministry of Agriculture, Food and Fisheries worked along with Canadian interns from the Montreal-based McGill University on their Bel Air's limited space garden project at McGill University's Bel Air Research Institute stationed in Barbados. Being inexperienced gardeners themselves, the interns were able to put together a small garden on a low budget with great yields. It's relatively easy to maintain and uh, it's very rewarding. We've only been here, we've only had the garden for about two months and we already have peppers and we already have okras and bok choys and lettuce and everything that you can already eat and you can already see that it's starting to bring, like, make back the money that was uh, invested in it and uh, I think it's great. Constructing and maintaining the tiny garden at times created challenges but once those were eliminated maintenance became routine and quite therapeutic. We had an engineer on the team and she was keen into getting the design uh, prepared and David Bino from the Ministry of Agriculture showed us all these ideas and books about how we would design our garden. Initially it was going to be in the front but then all sorts of <laughs> troubles happened and we ended up putting back here so that we could have an irrigation system. Um, and the construction part itself, that was definitely a learning experience. I'm now much more able with a hammer and nail. <laughs> um, you know, it seems so simple to just go, oh sure, I'll, I'll grow a garden. And then when you need to build it, it's a bit like, wow, this is actually challenging. And, but it was, it was fun and uh, it was a great experience and uh, we learned a lot. Um, we usually woke up pretty early just to kind of avoid the high heat uh, in the middle of the day and we did our regular weeding of um, the devil's grass seems to like come up through some of the mulch and uh, so we weeded the garden beds of that and we didn't have to do much watering because it was so wet this fall and we have the irrigation system that waters the beds and the square foot garden. Um, we had to apply treatments of microfall once a week because our plants were iron deficient and we also were experimenting with a lot of uh, pest um, deterrents like uh, neem oil and usually we uh, water and weed and fertilize the gardens in the mornings and then um, usually work on reports and things like that during the day and at night we go snail hunting. <laughs> I'm studying civil engineering at McGill and I'm going to take you on a short tour of our garden here at Bel Air's that we built over the course of three months. So I'll start with this rotating drum composter. Um, basically it's quite simple to use. You fill it once with um, a mixture of green and brown matter. Green matter is um, articles like kitchen scraps, from fruits and vegetables and brown matter is things like dried leaves that you collect from your lawn. So we filled it three quarters of the way full and um, every day we turn the handle on the other side to make sure it stays aerated. And it'll take about one to two months to finish the compost, after which you can use it to fertilize the different garden structures. So this is our hanging basket structure. We built this ourselves using recycled wood that we found at the SBRC. Um, it was a bit of a challenge because none of us has ever really built any sort of structure like this. But with the help of some of the carpenters here at Bel Airs, we managed to put it all together and it's been staying quite well. We attached these three hanging baskets to it we placed a mesh liner inside the metal basket so that the soil would hold inside. And then we planted mainly herbs. Um, we planted chives and parsley in these two. 
And in the middle one, we have a tomato plant. Next, we have the square foot garden. We also built this structure ourselves using recycled wood. Um, this one was quite easy to assemble and we planted a variety of crops. We have a few okra plants here that have done really well. This is our basil that also grew extremely tall. Um, we have a smaller tomato plant here and a few pepper plants on the other side that have started showing fruits. We also have a couple of okra fruits um, that have come up recently, so we're very pleased about that. We placed this garden bed beside the fence because we wanted the cucumber and spinach plants to trellis up the fence. Um, so as you can see, it has worked quite well. And in this garden bed, we planted 12 lettuce seedlings initially. And um, six of them were eaten by snails, unfortunately. So we installed this netting over top to protect the, protect the plants from getting eaten by snails. And it's actually worked quite well. As you can see, these six lettuce plants are doing very well. And finally, this is our pyramid garden structure that was lent to us by the Ministry of Agriculture for the duration of our project. And the plants are doing very well in this structure. Um, on the top level, we planted bok choy. And actually, they started from seeds. And as you can see, they have done extremely well. And they are ready to be harvested. Also, on the second level, we have eight pepper plants, four on either side. And on the bottom level, we have tomato plants. And we planted them at the bottom because they are the ones that grow the tallest. We also attached wires so that um, the plants would grow straight. And all of these plants are doing very well. We actually have a few tomatoes that have started appearing. So this is probably the best structure that we, uh, we have in our garden in terms of productivity. This is our irrigation system and we're using rainwater catchment so that we don't have to use uh, potable water to water the garden. And we were fortunate enough to have some people from the Ministry of Agriculture come and help us set it up. So it's gravity fed, so it's raised up a couple of feet and then the water goes through this valve through drip irrigation pipes. So in the beds, it's, there's a series of holes in the tubes and the, the plants are watered directly at the roots, so it's very efficient and doesn't use very much water. Uh, and the entire system was uh, relatively inexpensive to set up. We just had to purchase a tank and the pipes were donated by the ministry. Why not start your own tiny garden? Save some money, feel a sense of accomplishment, and manage your health all at the same time. If you have any questions on starting a kitchen garden on your own, contact David Bino at 434-5000. Happy gardening! Just do it. <laughs> Just go out and garden. It's, it's actually a lot of fun and it's really satisfying. Uh, I remember when we planted our bok choy seeds and they sprouted the first time. We were ecsta ecstatic. We went about three days showing everyone just how exciting it was. So. Just, just get out there and find people that like doing it or read a book about it and just try, I'm sure you'll love it. 